Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. I hope you guys are doing well. Remember, it is a general, so you may not resonate with everyone. However, you can always get a personalized reading, and I'll make sure to link info below. And if it does resonate, have fun running with it, and if it doesn't, have fun throwing it out. It just means that these messages weren't meant for you this time, and hopefully next time they will. So sorry, guys. Um, and also feel free to swap energies if it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with, someone in your environment. And also... Do not get caught up on genders. Feel free to swap the genders as it resonates in your life and in your timeline because time is fluid. So whenever you see this video, it's when spirit really wanted you to hear these messages, okay? So here we go. Um, oh, a few announcements, sorry. I've also made a new Facebook page where I'll be posting things I can't post here. Same name, Moon Girl Tarot, and more. So please make sure to give the like and a follow. I'd really appreciate your support. And... Um, if you guys would like to bless my channel, you can tip or donate at paypal.me slash 11 or Facebook pay. And as always, thank you so, so much for all your support by subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. It means the world to me. It really does. Thank you for taking time to watch my humble videos. I so appreciate you. And, uh, okay, these are your cards. We got work, upright, clarified by four of wands, upright. We got union rivers, clarified by the knight of pentacles, upright. Clarify by the lovers upright. Then we have past lives. Um, clarify by seven of swords reverse. Clarify by the sun upright. Clarify by, by clarified by the five of swords. Okay, so work. I see with work and with the four of wands, you're doing pretty well at work actually. I feel like if any kind of projects or things like that you're trying to get off the ground, I feel like you they will or there it's a go. Um, if you were applying for jobs, I feel like you might get callbacks. You might be going on interviews. Um, some of you might be getting a promotion here. I feel I see work going well for you. I really do. I feel like you're kind of achieving goals at work. Um, I feel like you're really trying to. It, it's definitely. This is definitely like the pri priority in your life. Right now, your work. I feel like you're going to get some kind of financial rewards. But remember, guys, money doesn't necessarily mean happiness. So take time to breathe in. Smell the roses. Okay. Um, you might feel very, like, alive and excited about the future because of this new opportunity you might be getting work. Yeah, I feel like you might be getting offers for some of you. Some of you might be changing jobs, getting a, a job you wanted, okay? Then we have union, and it's in reverse, clarified by, clarified by the knight of pentacles, clarified by the lovers. Okay, so with union, I feel it'd be reversed that you were in a union with someone. Um, this could have been a marriage or a common law marriage. Um, you could have been, or this could have just been someone you were with for a very long time. I don't see this being like a short term thing. It wasn't like someone you met a few months ago or a few weeks ago or a few days ago. This is someone that was, it, I mean, there's rings here. So you might've had rings, even if you weren't married or you were married, this was like a long term commitment. Okay. And we have the Knight of pentacles. So I feel like there was a discord here. There was a disunion. You might have had a separation or a divorce or you're going through a separation or a divorce. Okay. And then we have the king of, I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles. So this is the slowest moving knight in all the deck, okay? However, this is someone who his job or her job, it doesn't necessarily have to be a male, um, is the center of their life. This is someone who... Work is everything to them, of course. Look who I'm talking to, a Capricorn. Um, financial success is really important to them. The way people view them is extremely important to them. You want people to view you a certain way. You want people to view you successful. This is someone who can be extremely focused. And I feel like this person wants to come in and offer love to whoever they had a fallout with, a disunion with. Because so we have the lovers. 
I feel like you really miss this person. I feel that you want a new beginning with this person. You find this person very attractive right now. Maybe you're lusting over them or they're lusting over you, vice versa, or both of you are. You know that you're going to have to put work into this if you want to make it work again. If you want to try to revisit this connection. Um, I think you really miss the friendship of it. Like you can be with somebody and not be friends. And you can be with somebody and be friends. I feel like you guys had a, a friendship. A good solid friendship here. I feel like you're really missing this person. Whether you want to admit it or not. Somebody here is really missing them, or you're, or they're missing you. I feel like you're really trying to go within to make a decision about this connection. However, I do feel that you are gonna, or you're, you want to make it, you want to revisit this. It might take you some time, but you might come back in to offer this person love again then we have past lives clarified by the seven of swords reverse clarified by the sun upright clarified by the five of swords okay so i feel that you've had a past life with this person and this is probably why you are having a hard time letting it go wanting to return to this remember guys your soul's they recognize your counterpart, your soulmate, a person you have a soul connection with. And I really do feel like you had some sort of past life with this person. I also feel that, you know, you're kind of um, realizing that now. You're kind of like really, really realizing that there is some sort of strong connection and you can't really explain it so now you are really are like you know what i think i did have some sort of past life with this person of some sort um and it's clarified by the seven of swords and it's in reverse so with the seven of swords what were you doing somebody here was being very sneaky was lying being deceitful uh, perhaps cheating um keeping secrets this caused arguments and quarrels I also feel that there was people around you whispering in your ear, giving you bad advice about this person, like, oh, you should leave them, or you can find somebody better. Um, no, they're not good for you. I feel like they were just kind of, they were even maybe saying lies about this person. They wanted you guys to be separated, but it was for their own selfish needs. Like, okay, well, maybe he or she can hang out now more that... They broke up with this person or, oh, okay, maybe I can date this person now that they're... It was just... I feel like there was like a lot of narcissist people around you giving you bad advice, being selfish. And you went with it. You definitely went with it. I think now you're kind of questioning your own actions and judgments. I feel like you're in your head now. You're like, okay, maybe this was a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have done any of these things I did. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to these people. I think you're realizing now that some of these people you were around who were giving you this advice were full of shit. And now you're kind of realizing that they were only looking out for themselves, wanting something from you. It was a convenience for them if you all would break up. They were going to gain something from this. I feel that there was arguments and opposition here. I also feel that you know that if you want this relationship, you want to rekindle it, you're going to have to take responsibility. You're going to have to have a conversation with them and be honest. And that's something that you're just maybe not be willing to do. You're scared to face the truth. Somebody here is scared to tell the other person the whole truth and look at them in the eye and be honest with them. Because I feel like you've never really done that. You've never had to, you might have been getting away with things with other, other people before in the past. But now with this person, it's a bit different. You're going to have to come clean and you're scared to. 
you don't want to complain. You might want to tell them bits and pieces, but you're not going to tell them the whole story, that's for sure. So you're really in their, your head, like, should I just approach them? Should I try? But then I'm going to have to tell them this or that. Then I'm going to have to give up. If you were with somebody else, I'm going to have to give up that other person. Um, there's some things you don't want to give up. But you secretly want to come towards this person. Because you got the sun. I feel like now with the separation, you kind of realize that this was a better decision when you were with this person. You were happier. You were better off here. You're recognizing that there was a soul connection here. There was a past connection here with past lives. You want this happy ending with this person. You want to be back in their life. You miss them. But I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if you're willing to give up all this. And them. Because I feel there's other people here. You might have been cheating to get back with this person. Somebody here might have been cheating. Take it as it resonates, guys. Feel free to swap the energies. It could be you or them. And now you're kind of left brokenhearted. You might be dealing with an Aquarius because we have air here, air here, and water. Uh, yeah, they're both um, swords. Capricorn. Um, yeah, it's it's left you kind of broken hearted. You feel defeated. Someone here feels defeated. You both can feel defeated. I also feel like a heavy, heavy heart. Someone here feels like shame, remorse. They're sorry. Someone here is sorry for what they did. They're really in their head. They're contemplating what to do. You feel really, really defeated. Or someone does here. And then we have new beginnings. So I feel like you want a new beginning with this person. You want a new start. You're just hoping that this person can forgive and forget and start new with you. You might have had um, breakups before in the past, but this one seems different. This one seems more permanent. And I think that you're scared. You're scared this person isn't going to take you back. You're scared of how they're going to receive you. We have retreat, and it's in reverse. So I feel that you or this person might not have much communication, if any at all. Um, somebody here or both of you can be going really within um, and just acknowledging your part in the disunion um, and I feel like some of you are coming out of that okay then we have healing you want to heal the situation you want to bring this union back together I think you really miss this person you see how like that girl is rubbing her hair and the other one's asleep? I think you miss your affection. I think they miss you too. You really want to bring healing to the situation. You want to mend it. But you're not too sure if you're willing to give up all this for that. And that's what I have for you guys. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'm really curious to know what's going on with you guys. And uh, thank you so much again for watching my video. And um, if you would like to tip or donate, you can at paypal.me slash 11 or Facebook pay. And 